Hey there, grumpy old fart here. Um, I do a lot of research into unexplained events and things like that because I, I like putting these videos on my channel. <sighs> and it's rare when you find an event that you've never heard of that you, you, you have no idea anything about it. And that ties in so well with your patriotism. This is brilliant. Check this out. Unexplained event, the speech of the unknown patriot. Um, in July of 1776, delegates, there's a little history lesson here. <laughs> in July of 1776, delegates to the Continental Congress were at an impasse. The Declaration of Independence had been drafted. Everyone had agreed to the wording, but there was a hesitancy in signing the document. And the hesitancy was certainly understandable. The document was pure treason. At the time, we were British subjects. So, the Declaration of Independence was an admission to treason. If the rebellion was not successful, each and every person who signed that document would face, get this, I did the research, their property would be seized, their families would be imprisoned, they would be impoverished, their families would be, they would be, the, the actual signers would be hung, then beheaded and drawn and quartered. And there have been, I, I don't know this for a fact, but there have been English nobility who have paraded their heads on sticks, pikes, uh, paraded their body parts around the different parts of the nation. You know, it, treason was a serious thing. So, of course, the people were, you know, were, they were hesitant to say the least. Signing this document was a very serious affair. It was completely understandable that people would be reluctant to sign it. Then, <clears throat> out of the back of the room, an unknown man stood and delivered a rousing address to the delegates. In part, it said, he said, quote, they may pour our blood on a thousand scaffolds, and yet from every drop that dies, the axe... Let me start this over. <clears throat> they may pour our blood on a thousand scaffolds, and yet from every drop that dies the axe, a new champion of freedom will spring into birth. Sign, and not only for yourselves, but for all ages. For that parchment will be the textbook of freedom, the Bible of the rights of man forever. <laughs> that gives you a tingle just listening to it. The speech continued, and the delegates were motivated to sign the document most vigorously. If you've ever looked at the signatures on the Declaration of Independence, you will see the outright fervor with which the signers emblazon their names. Each and every signature is a challenge, a direct challenge to the King of England, the King of England himself. They were proud to sign it, and they wanted him to know they were proud to sign it. Those signatures, there's a flair to those signatures. Like, yeah, look at me, motherfucker. That's basically what it says. That's what they were saying. Pardon my French. Afterwards, I, I get kind of worked up about patriotic stuff. That's just me. Afterwards, when the delegates turned to the, to the, to the mysterious speaker, he had vanished. Nobody knew who he was. He was not a delegate, nor had anyone let him into the room. The guards outside had not seen him enter. The fact remains that America may not have become an independent nation if not for this mysterious motivational speaker. And amen. Whoever the hell he was, he deserves our thanks. He deserves our accolades. He deserves a place in American history because I had never heard that before. And if you hadn't, this is a first for you too. Oh my God. The people who signed that Declaration of Independence are directly responsible for the freedoms we have today that we take for granted. That guy, if it wasn't for that guy, they might not have signed it. I'm just saying. So, if you get a chance, do some more research on that. Uh, and put it in the comments. I'd be glad to read it. Hope this finds everybody well. God bless America. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.
Thank you.